Hello everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. How is it going today? I did this church drawing before, but I want to add a little something else. I might just do a little well. So to do this, I'm just going to do this nice circular shape to start off with. So like a hockey, a hockey puck shape. And I want to do this with a little roof on top. I think it'll look nice and cute. So it's going to have some wooden strands coming up. And this is quite small, this picture, it's about one inch by one inch, so and I'm just using a pencil for this, just for the rough outlines. And then just do a little slanted roof. Then, how about a rope coming down here, falling down to a wooden pail here. Okay. Now that I've just got that sorted out, I'm just going to do a start with the roof. So I'm just going to do a little pattern with these two bumps, two dots, just across here. I'm just using a biro for this, so it's nothing too fancy. And then for the edge, I'm just going to do some slates, just going across there. Just like so, keeping the edges quite rough. Just because the slates aren't perfectly shaped, I know they're cut to a specific size and stuff, but the edges and stuff like that get worn and torn and by other things. And for this edge, I'm just doing small little rectangles, keeping that roof slanted. I just do a little edge on this side, just like so. And then for these wooden Struck uh, support beams, I suppose what you would call it. Just doing some lines coming down. Now, I want to do this on a grassy section, so I'm just going to do some blades of grass just by flicking the pen upwards. And then, maybe on the end of the that I did before, because this is going to be in the middle of a field or something. Maybe let's do a little rock here coming up and give it some structure by doing a lines there maybe a smaller one and then do some grassy bits behind it then for the wooden beams I'm just going to do some lines coming down I might do the knots in first where the knots of wood is where the twigs will come off and then I'm just doing some lines coming down going around those knots I've done Just like so, and then for this edge, fill those in. Then for the rope, just going to loop it across and come back down. Now it's very important to try and keep the rope equal width as you go round the shape. There we are. Now I'm just doing some lines going across it. Just like so. Then I want this one to be sitting in the grass as well, but I want it to look like it's actually like the grass has been uh, across it, so it's actually landed on the grass. So the grass that's around it is going to be parted away from the side. And this side as well. Then, because it's made out of wooden slats, do small circles, small semicircles. And bring that down and for the inside. Now for the stone structure around, I'm just going to loosely draw, you can maybe use a tool for this to make it a bit more easier for it, but if you do nice loose bricks it gives it much more of a rugged hand built kind of well kind of shape. And draw these coming down. Now to make a structure a bit more solid the bricks on the bottom is going to be adjacent to the ones on top. I think that's a word used. So where these two join, there's going to be one full one underneath it. And then for these side ones, keep them very skinny, just for the perspective. Now on the inside, just feather some lines coming down. So it's dark there, then light coming down. Then follow the brick shape. And then for the other structure on the other side, 
you'll just see a little bit of it there okay now let's make it uh, do some shading just to make this look a little bit better so I'm just going to do some darkened edges on the bottom and on the inside so this section is going to be the darkest so I'm doing that thick line so now that I've got a thick line to work from I can just feather from it just flicking the pen upwards releasing the pressure as I come up so it's just flick 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 and then moving across to cancel out the white lines and these bricks on the inside are going to be darker so I'm just doing some very light lines coming down just like so then for the slates on the top I'm just going to do a bit more detail by doing some lines coming across and then for these rocks again just a little bit of a few lines just to give it a bit more shape okay I'm just going to erase those pencil lines so you can see what I've done so this is just a little mini picture of a well then I want to emphasize these edges a bit more so I'm just going to do them a little bit darker this side so the brick comes down there and the second level there the inside of this wooden structure is going to be darker darken that in, in then the inside of the small little roof structure that I have this section is going to be darker so I'm just going to do that completely in black this edge will be darker than this edge I see the grass on the actual wooden structure here is not very broken up very well so I'm going to keep the grass white and I'm just going to do some very light lines coming up on the wooden structure now you might lose some of the detail on the wooden structure so just go back in and darken up some lines that you want to darken up so there and some there this is just all in biro and just doing some very light lines coming up here then for the bottom edge of the rope that wants to be a bit darker then for the inside of this pail that I've done a pail is that the right word for a wooden bucket or something so the inside is going to be darker and I'm just flicking the pen outwards a little bit of detail smooth this edge out maybe add a little bit of fly there So yeah, this is my little well structure. It's just a little drawing, I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll be back with another video real soon.